Yeah, the party line seemingly already drawn. Tate Reeves and Jim Hood wasting little time getting their war of words going. A third party ad from a group called Mississippi Strong already setting sights on Jim Hood. If Jim Hood is standing with them, he's not working for us. Hood running his own image campaign spots election night. As governor, I'm going to deliver statewide preschool. In what is a quick start to the general election, Jim Hood was out on the campaign trail early Wednesday morning talking about expanding Medicaid, but making sure not to leave out his opponent. He's just throwing around labels because he doesn't have any, any program to deal with the health care crisis that we're dealing with. Tate Reeves had a late election night, but talked about the importance of beating Jim Hood. Reeves started throwing the labels at Hood early on. Obviously, we have very different visions uh, for the future. Uh, the National Democrats and their liberal allies have lined up behind Jim Hood. Uh, the conservative people in Mississippi are lining up behind me. Millsap's political analyst Nathan Schrader says it will likely be a volatile campaign season, with two candidates trying to cast their own definitions of each other. Hood, who has been a longtime statewide office holder as a Democrat, Reeves has already invested time tying Hood to national Democrats. The challenge on the Tate Reeves side is can they convince voters who have a history of choosing Jim Hood here uh, that he really is something other than what they think he is. And it would be the challenge of the Hood campaign to continue defining himself, letting voters know I'm the person that you always knew I was. I'm not, I'm, I'm my own Democrat. Well, the ad buys are coming in, and we can expect a lot more of those third-party ads on TV and radio in what is now a road less than three months long leading to the general election. In the newsroom, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.